Like always, it's been forever since I picked up the camera, but now I'm going to try pick up this camera, start recording, document my, my journey because I'm going to get braces. Yeah, so I also need a haircut because my hair grew so long, but this video is not about getting a haircut because I'm going to get braces. Because my teeth are crowded, that's it. That's all I'm gonna. I'm not gonna get any close to the camera. Wait, I'm not gonna get any closer to the camera because my teeth. You can see it. Anyway, went to the dentist after. I've been here two years. Hmm. Two years of moving, and now I'm getting braces. In two weeks, I'm gonna get my braces put in. I mean, I'm excited. It's an exciting process. I've been, I guess, binge watching or I've been looking up videos on YouTube about adults getting braces but my doctor did say, or my orthodontist, same thing, their doctors said more adults are getting braces. Half his patients, his clients, whatever you want to call yourself, half of his office is adults so it's not just children nowadays and that made me feel a little better but like I don't know anybody my age personally that has braces so I'm still oh. so watching all these videos made me a little more comfortable I guess a lot of the videos they brought up how your face is gonna change and they also said document the process always take pictures because your face is gonna change your teeth are gonna change everything is gonna change especially in the first month when you get it so this is what I'm doing doing this for myself doing this for you if you need it doing this for my sisters because I know that they want braces and they're how old are they how old are you guys I don't know they're two years apart so it's either 13 and 15 or 14 and 16 that's their age and I'm here at <clears throat> be 26 and I'm getting braces but I'm forever gonna be 23 until I decide I'm not 23 anymore so this is me just processing halfway there until I get my braces in which is exciting but yet also at the same time I'm I don't know what am I what am I feeling am I anxious am I worried I'm not worried because this is, this is exciting also other people and their videos were saying how their voice changes and like it's like learning how to speak again especially when you have your braces in because there's just more stuff in there I don't know anyways they're just gonna put the top one in and then the next appointment when they address this one they're gonna put the bottom one in because also I'm missing two teeth here yeah that's a thing when I was younger I didn't floss well and because my teeth are crowded the tooth in the back started to rot and it got so bad that it affected the tooth next to it so both had to come out so floss your teeth brush well take care of your teeth because there's problems in the future so to my sisters brush and floss especially the young one you know who you are my top tooth here is trying to look for its tooth meat that's what they said or that's what they called it they're gonna pull that tooth up align everything get that all straightened out so then i can go to my dentist and we can figure out what we're gonna do with the gap as of right now we're not gonna pull any teeth out because he believes that everything can fit but there's still a possibility later down the road two three appointments in that we might have to extract teeth just to make room but as of right now we're just going in putting in braces that's all I know. That's all we know. Going into anything, you're always worried, so that's me. Or not worried, anxious, I guess. Okay, so next clip. The heck? Does this shirt look okay? This is my blanket. It's kind of cold. And this is like me getting a hug for comfort. I'm comforting myself. That's the word. The next clip you see is gonna be the day I get my braces started. I'm gonna try to document, you know, 
my teeth, how I'm feeling, what I'm eating because I know and they told me that the first couple days I'm gonna feel it. I'm gonna have to eat soft foods. Soups are gonna be my best friends. Just watch me freak out about going to my appointment. <sighs> two weeks. In two weeks, I'm gonna have braces. In two weeks, I'm gonna have metal in my mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna get the metal ones. Breathe in. Excited, but whew, so much emotions going on right now. Anyways, if you have braces, had braces, know anything about braces, and you, you have some tips or advice for me, I would really appreciate it. Tell me what I can eat. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're gonna tell me what I can and cannot eat, but I need I need food ideas. Like, what what other soft foods are out there instead of soup? Also, people who like know me, you don't know me. Thank you. See you at my next appointment. I got a haircut. <sighs> you see this? This is my new. It's the day after getting braces. That's my braces. It's been a little over 30 hours since I had them. Got them. Feels weird. Is it painful? I can't speak. That's that's the only thing. I can't speak. I don't know how to speak with these in my with this in my mouth. It feels like there's something on my teeth. That's it. That's the only way I can explain it. There's something on my teeth. That's how it feels. There goes the refrigerator again. Where's a mess? I just had a nap. My teeth are not hurting. I just feel extra sleepy. My first full day of braces. First thing I did after walking out of the office. Don't know how to close my mouth. Don't know how to talk. I feel like my lips should go over. But then that looks weird. I want to do this. It's just sitting below my lip. So if I talk, you can kind of see it right there. And my, my lip is just sitting on it. But I got the top one in first. I don't know when we're going to put the bottom one in. It's going to be later. Um, it is white. It's not the full metal. <coughs> I just choked on my own lip. <laughs> but I have several silver rubber bands. I can drink a glass of water. <coughs> I just choked on my water. Oh, I also have a spring. Right there to open that gap so my tooth can twist back and so there's room to twist that tooth back into its rightful place. Still don't know whether or not we're gonna be extracting teeth, but that's gonna be dealt with later down the line between four or six months from now. Oh yeah, my day. Hello. First thing we did a milkshake at Ben and Jerry. No, I just love Ben and Jerry's. But we went to Cold Stone. Cold Stone milkshake. I had the lemon poppy seed muffin. I think that's what it was called. Got home. I got home and then my boyfriend gave me ibuprofen or something like that for the pain to come because I wasn't in pain yet. And he said when he got his, the first hour he was fine, but then after that, that's when he could start to feel the pressure. So he gave me that. After that, I had the first meal I had was cheese pizza which I ate with a fork and knife because I was not ready to bite into food with my braces. Took a nap because I was sleepy. Woke up from my nap. I still didn't feel the pain. Every time I eat I just feel like I have to brush my teeth after just because I could feel all the food pieces that stuck especially like on the side where my cheeks are. So I brush, took a nap, rewind, do this again. Ice cream, not ice cream. But in, not very dear. Gosh dang it. Cold stone, milkshake, the lemon poppy seed muffin, home, ibuprofen, pizza, eating with a fork and knife. Then ice cream, blueberry cheesecake ice cream from Target, and the little pints. Brush my teeth, I took my nap. Then I woke up, watched some Netflix, just chilled for the rest of the night, fell a little sleep. For breakfast, I had chocolate chip pancakes. Brush my teeth again. For lunch, we had mac and cheese, which that I could really feel like get stuck in my braces. Then brush my teeth again. <laughs> then he went to work. I started watching YouTube. Then I was really sleepy and I took a nap. I don't feel 
the pressure yet I don't know if it's gonna come like later or if it's not gonna come and like I just have a high pain tolerance I don't know what's going on but I'm not in pain I keep licking my lips a lot which I find annoying or like irritating for me I feel like a lizard because I keep licking my lips so if you see that a lot that that's why it's it's the braces it's making me lick my lips I have chapstick and I also feel like I have more saliva in my mouth is that a thing is that a thing like when you get braces you lick your lips a lot so now I'm part lizard it was weird trying to wash my face because when I scrubbed falling asleep it was hard because I was overthinking it but I did sleep maybe that's why I'm sleepy or is it or am I sleepy because my teeth you know like it's not hurting but it's making me more sleepy is that a thing I don't know I mean this video is already pretty long so that's my 24 30 hour 31 I don't know my first full day day and a half of braces I know I didn't know how to close my mouth at first because my lips wanted to go over it but I think this is its natural sitting down I will say though like my hair when I first walked in was like nice and like volumized but then after everything what do you think? I feel like my lips are or my top lip is sticking out yeah, I don't know. There's really not much update. It just feels like there's something on my teeth. Nothing has cut my lips yet. Sometimes I just go like that just to hold hold it in my lips because I feel like they don't belong there. It's just there's a foreign object in my mouth and I just want to I don't know what I was saying, but go down. I'm gonna go eat my soup. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Um, I feel like I've been drinking more water when I eat just because I don't like the feeling of having food stuck. Like, you know how you can just feel the food stuck between your teeth? So every after every bite, I end up picking up my water, drinking, doing a little rinsey rinse until I get the food unstuck. And then take another bite and I just repeat and I know I can just eat and then when I'm done eating I can drink my water but I just feel so weird just feeling food in my teeth so there I am with my water with my water I feel like I need to stop doing that just because I can't finish my food and I get full of the water so there's that eating extra slow I mean I'm already a slow eater but now I'm just like Oh my goodness, I can't really do that anymore. Ow! Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Bye!